Hello everyone, Dr. James Markham here with another Biblical Prescription for Life. Today, we're gonna to be very practical and we're gonna show everyone how to use and apply the Freestyle Libre. Um, and this is a monitoring device for diabetics. And as diabetics can remember, um, I being a diabetic myself, for years we had to poke our finger with the lancet and we put it on a little monitoring strip and put it in a device and that gave us a blood sugar. We had to poke ourselves a lot. But now, now, thank goodness, because of technology, we have these Libres and other similar devices where we just put them on our arms or wherever. We can monitor and know our blood sugar at any time. But before we go that, I wanna share a biblical prescription for life, and that's 1 John 5, verse 20. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him who is true and we are in him who is true in his son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. What a wonderful text um, that gives us strength that we might know that we have health and healing, even though we might have diabetes or other afflictions here. We know that in Christ, we're going to be healed and have eternal life. That's why I like to focus on biblical prescriptions. You know, there's lots of wisdom out there in the world, lots of technology. But true wisdom, the real things that matter come from our relationship with Christ and what he teaches us and staying true to the word, true to what he asks us to do. Um, staying in that um, relationship is very important. So I want to tell you a little bit, some of you have these um, glucose monitoring devices, and I wanna show you, this is the Libre 2, has a big instruction manual, but um, I mainly use this to tune up my blood sugars, to help me know what foods um, I should be eating, when, how much exercise is helping my blood sugar, and by, for me, that helps the most, what time of days, what foods really spike me and what foods do not spike me. And you can measure your blood sugar numerous times with this device. So first of all, you take the device out of the package. And if you need to, you can read all of these instructions, the great detail. So the first thing I do is I take this device right here. This is a circular device. I take the lid off of that. And this is actually the device that is going to be the monitor that I eventually will put into my arm that is, has access to my bloodstream. And through that, I'm gonna be able to scan the sensor and immediately know my blood sugar. So I peel off that first. Then this other device, it says freestyle on the part. And I just undo that device here. It screws off, not too hard to do. Um, here's what it looks like. It has um, blue with a, a, a centerpiece right there. And this is gonna be what I place. I'm gonna place this. I'm gonna line it up like this. And I'm gonna place it in there. And then I'm gonna press down. You see, can see some lines that come here that lets you know you have it in the right position. And there's a groove here. So you put that groove right there, and then I lay it on a flat surface, and I line all the grooves up, and then I press down. Press down real hard, then I pull that off, and now, there it is, it's ready to be inserted. So there's a needle right here, and what I will do next um, is I'm going to, I put this, I put it right here in my arm, right about here, because if I have short sleeves, I like to cover it up so people don't always know that I'm wearing it. So the next thing I will do is I will put this in the desired location right here, and then I will press down real hard, boom, and the device will be in my arm. And that is step number one. So we place this device 
And as you can see, I put it right there in my arm. So I just press down, the needle set it in, then I pulled that off and it automatically stuck in my arm. Then the next thing, so now this has access to my bloodstream and my sensor, you see it right there, and I can use my short sleeve shirt to cover it so people don't necessarily see it. And then the next thing I take, my smartphone, this also has sensors, but I've used my smartphone. I go to the app and on my app, there's a Libre link. You can download that from your app store, Libre link. And I hit the Libre link button and then it comes up and it says Freestyle Libre and it shows a picture where I put it on. It actually gives you um, a step-by-step -step how to apply it, just like we've done now. And I'll go through that again. Again, we selected the site. I've already done that on my arm. And go through each of those. Step two, it shows where you put it. Step three, it shows where I opened, took the top off. That's where I, I took this off the top here. It shows you how to do that in the app. Step four, it showed how we line up the arrows. Um, step five, this is lining up the arrows. Then we um, pushed it down, we saw that. And now we have the applicator with the needle. And you saw me put the needle, press it in my arm right here. There we have it. There's my sensor, we're ready to go. So this shows you how to do that. Um, so that's how you do it on the app, and it goes through that. And then after you go through all those steps, um, you can hit the next button, and it has you scan the sensor. So you have to scan it and line it up with your iPhone here, or it can be an Android. So I put scan the sensor, and it says ready to scan, and then I hold the phone near the sensor. So I'm going to do that right like this. Okay, I'm scanning my sensor right now. And then it said, yes, it made a little noise. Scan is complete. Um, and it takes about one hour before it's ready to start reading the blood sugars. And when you read the blood sugars, all you have to do is just hold the scan over the sensor. So that's about it. Um, and you have to download this um, on your iPhone for the um, the, the type of sensor that you have, I'm happy to put on a Freestyle Libre 2. So that's step number two. And now I'm going to go on to step number three. After I give this some time to um, calibrate, it takes about an hour before it's ready to scan. Okay, I've waited the correct amount of time. It's usually about an hour. And then what I can do from now on, whenever I want to check my blood sugar, I just put it up to the sensor, put it through there. It gives me my reading and it will show up on your cell phone. A couple things I want to remind you, um, it's very um, logical. That's how you do it. This is very good to help you manage your blood sugars because if you exercise before and after, you can see how much exercise and what level intensity will lower it. Um, it's helped me know how what kind of servings and what kind of foods really spike it and really doesn't. Also lets me know um, how my sleep patterns, how my stress patterns, and even how um, just little things in life affect your blood sugar. And it really helps you tailor it. And if you're on medications, um, it can help you know how to adjust your medications. And if you're coming off medications, it's very useful because as you turn it down, you can know if your blood sugar is going too low or too high. This is much more convenient than sticking your finger all the time and moving it in. Um, insurances will pay for it in some instances if you're on insulin. If you're not on insulin, sometimes it doesn't pay for it. And this sensor, you don't have to use it all the time. I use it every two or three months. I use it for a couple of weeks to help fine tune my blood sugar, make sure my lifestyle changes are, are being appropriate and tweak my diet and exercise patterns a little bit. So I hope you that will help you understand a little bit how to put on a Libre 2. All of the monitoring devices that we, I used to have a Libre 1, but now they're Libre 2 and Libre 3. Libre 3 has more bells and whistles and alarms. And there's also other companies that make monitoring devices, but they all work similar.
So after it's on, I can cover it up and I, I can check my blood sugar any time of the day and night for, for the next um, two weeks on this monitor and it will record it. There's an app on the phone. Now, if you don't have a cell phone, um, you don't have that capability um, of having an app, you can use a sensor and it will record it in a sensor and you can buy the sensors at the drugstore too. But I find that most people now have these apps, they put the apps on and it can track, it can give you trends, it gives you the average uh, of what your blood sugar has been running over a period of time. Um, it can let you um, know when it's going way too high if you have an alarm on. So I find this very useful in helping me to make lifestyle changes because it's like a constant reminder of where you're at. Let's say you cheat a little bit and have something sweet where you can immediately know how fast it goes up, things that you can do to bring it down. For me, it's usually walking um, and exercising. Um, and then also you can manipulate certain foods to change the how fast sugar is absorbed. I found out in my case that if I um, take some apple cider vinegar, when I eat some high caloric food, it slows down my absorption a little bit. Also, fiber can slow it down a little bit. And also lets me know about what quantity I can take and what quantities I can't take. So I just wanted to show you that today. Um, I wish we didn't have to have these diseases like diabetes and, and high blood pressure. I wish we didn't have to have all this suffering, but you know, if this suffering brings us closer to eternal healing, that's the kind of healing I want. Because remember, physical healing is one thing, but eternal spiritual healing th that guarantees um, us in the Bible for those that, that but follow the Bible, that read the Bible, that stay in the word, that try to find truth, that stay in Christ. Remember, you know, we're all gonna make mistakes. We're all gonna fall short of the glory of God. But when we when we say, I'm sorry, we, we choose not to be rebellious. We, we come to him and say, listen, I'm sorry, forgive me. We repent. And remember, repent means turning from the thing that you're doing, getting back to what God knows is best for us. And as we do that, um, we are in a state of eternal healing. And that's what we want to do. Let me review that text once more. And we know, we know without a doubt that the Son of God has come. Jesus has come. There's tons of out, um, evidence of that. That's the true path of healing, that he has come and has given us, it's a free gift, an understanding that we may know him we can come into relationship with Bible study and prayer. We know him who is true. How many other things in this world are not true? they are deceptions, but God is true. And we are in him when we walk with him who is true in his son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. So we want to focus on the big picture in health. We want to try to not be deceived. We want to also not be so distracted that we don't see where our lives should head when it comes to eternal healing. Knowing that we have eternal healing will also help us cope better with the short-term afflictions that we have. And I'm thankful so much that we do have devices like Libres and other medical technology that helps us to have more abundant lives so we can fulfill the purpose that God has given us and give glory to him. So thanks for joining me with this biblical prescription for life. I hope this helps those, especially those that are a little bit scared about putting on a Libre. And I'll be back very soon with yet another biblical prescription for life.